guys, it's Sherelle here from Planner with a Praise, a place where creativity meets functionality. If you're new here, then welcome, and I hope that by the end of this video, you will decide to join the Praise team. If you've been here before, then welcome back, my friends, and I thank you so much for your support. When you become a part of the praise team, guys, not only will you get ideas on how to decorate and organize your paper planner, but my channel also offers shopping hauls, craft room tours, and craft room organization. So be sure to click on that free subscribe button right now so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So my friends, in today's video, I will be planning for the week of January 17th right through the 23rd in my personal planner. So for those of you who are watching me for the first time, here in 2022, I decided to go along with a Frankenplan system. If you wanna see what my 2022 planner setup is looking like, go ahead and click on that video at the end of this one. So my friends, to begin, I am going to go ahead and take out these pages from my planner, and then I'm gonna show you what stickers I will be using in today's spread. So for today, I will be pulling from my handy dandy colorful boxes sticker book from the Happy Planner. I believe this is the very first sticker book they made of colorful boxes. I do have the other one, but you know what? I don't even use it. And then also too, I will be using the Agenda 52 sticker book from the Paper Studio. Both of these sticker books are relatively old, so you may have seen them before. But uh, yeah, it's time for me to start using the stickers that are already in my stash instead of buying additional stickers to just simply store in my craft room. So to begin, my friends, I think I want to start with my sidebar. And I am going right to this page here this page and i believe i saw a few additional pages where i could pull stickers from so let's start with the sidebar and then we will grow from there so i want to start with these simple headers this one says sleep in the next one i'm going to use says vacation And then the last one I want to use in the sidebar, this one says Girls Night. Okay, and then lastly, I want to put, where'd it go? I want to put one of these cute decorative stickers at the bottom. And I think I'm going to use this one right here. This is a desktop computer and it says, like a boss. I just think that is adorable. So I'm going to put that one right here. Okay. The next thing I want to do is in this same sticker book, there were some really cute uh, stickers that had this same floral pattern and they were arrows. Let me see if I could find them. Here they are. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of them. And let's see, and there is seven days in the week. So I think what I will do is I will place them right here and just have them go across the entire two pages. So that's one, two. I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy tweezers. So for some stickers, when I'm trying to apply them straight, my fingers get in the way and the tweezers help me just kind of line things up a little neater. Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. 
Next, I am going to use this chair just as a decorative piece because it is adorable. And I'm gonna put it right here in the bottom of Sunday the 23rd. I'm also going to pull this stack of boxes just because that chair looks a little bit lonely in that corner by itself. There we go. Now I'm thinking I should turn my attention to these colorful boxes to see what I can bring in to help my spread. So let's see. All right, so what I'm thinking right now is that I wanna use this forest color green. Um, I don't know how much of it I have. Well, let's see, I think I just saw, okay, one, two, I think I could use these. Um, I like this hello today, so I think I'm going to pull that first. Where do I wanna put it? I'm thinking maybe Friday and Saturday. Yeah, I'll start putting it here and see how I like it. And hopefully I like it. If I don't, hopefully I'll be able to pull it back up. And you know what? I think I do like it actually. So no problems here. And I like it too because it actually went across both boxes very well. And then I think I saw... Yeah, I did. Oh, wow. Perfect. So there's four of these boxes right here. Um, where I want to apply them, I don't know yet, but at least I know they are here. There is also this box here. Uh, it's just a little bit bigger than the one that I just pulled out. And I think I'm just going to place this one here because I feel like you know, without something else in my sidebar, it makes my sidebar look a little sorry. <laughs> so I put that there. And then uh, what else do I want to do? I'm thinking, hmm. Oh, you know what? Hold up. I remember seeing some cute little icons in the Paper Studio sticker book that would help this spread out. So here is a tiny little gold paper clip and I'm going to use that right here just to give this colorful box a little character. There you have it. And what else do I want to do? I think I'm gonna return back to the colorful boxes. All right, so here is a little bulletin strip and I am going to use this right here. Actually, I'm gonna put it on Tuesday. And then there was a second one that I saw as well. Where'd it go? And I'm going to apply that to, I guess, Friday, let's see. Yes, now I feel like I can go ahead and use these boxes here. And I think I want to layer them. So I'm going to layer them in threes. And uh, I think I want to start here. That's one. Two. Actually, I could have taken that one and put it over a little bit more, so let me fix that. I just wanted to go into Wednesday just a little bit more than it was, so let's fix that. Yeah, that makes me feel better. And then I'm gonna take that third one and apply it, I guess, like this. Let me see what it looks like if I do that. No, I am actually going to take this one and I'm going to turn it around and just try to apply it so that it's going into Monday. Okay, I am actually feeling that. And then uh, I'm hoping to see another green colorful box. And uh, right now, I'm not seeing one. 
Um, well, I do have one. I shouldn't say I don't see one. I do, but I really didn't want to use that particular one. Okay, so I did find another box. This one is perfectly square, and I'm going to go back to that last rectangle box here, and I'm going to apply these, my friends, to Friday and Saturday. No, actually, I take that back. I'm not going to apply it to Friday because I already have this bulletin right here. So I'm thinking I can apply it to, hmm, I'm going to apply this one to Wednesday. And then this one I will apply to Sunday. Okay, so there are my boxes laid out. I see I have some black in here in these boxes down here. So what I wanna do is see if I can pull some black colorful boxes in to just help me bring in some of that black from these boxes here. So I am in luck because I found a black bulletin strip that I can apply to Thursday. And that's probably the only one I'm gonna use because I don't know where else I might be able to apply this strip. So I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, and then I'm going to take this to-do sticker and apply it to this grouping of colorful boxes. Also, I believe I have a black colorful box that I could use somewhere on the spread as well. well. One thing I could do is here's another small icon that says busy day and it has some black in it. So I could use that down here. And here is another one that also says busy day, but I think I prefer to use the one that says to do and I'm going to apply that to Sunday. And then lastly, I'm going to take a black colorful box and I wanna layer it right here. So here we go. And I'm just going to simply put that one here. I thought about putting it up, but I don't want it to be in the way of that strip on top there. So. I'm just going to apply it here, and I feel like that is more than enough black to bring into this spread. I know I said I have enough black in this spread, but I'm looking at my sidebar, and I'm thinking I want to add some additional colorful boxes here. So I'm going to take the two black colorful boxes that I have in this size and apply them to the sidebar. One. Okay, now I'm going right back to this book because this book has the cutest little uh, decorative icons and stuff that would be perfect for accenting this page. So one of the little icons I found is this cute little tiny pen and I'm going to put it, mm, can I put it here? Yeah, I can actually, I'm gonna put it right here and then if I could find another little accent to put here, which it's right in front of my face, and it is another paper clip, uh, the same but different. <laughs> One second, here it is. See this here? And so I'm going to apply this one right here. All right. So I'm now looking at this page here on my right and I just kind of feel like in comparison to what's going on on my left, this looks a little bland and needs some help. So I'm going to go ahead and just place my concentration over here to liven up this page some. So the only thing that I really see that I kind of sort of like for this page is I see this 
lamp here um but it's white and i don't know how much it's going to offer to livening up this page you see this lamp right here yeah so actually it does now that i've applied it i kind of see how it does work so i'm going to leave it right here um it did more for the page than i thought it would and then down here I have a couple of options. I see a vase with a bouquet of flowers that will work here. And then I also see this task lamp that is also so adorable. Um, but I think I wanna save this task lamp. Let me just show you, it's so cute. I think I'm gonna save this task lamp for another spread. Um, which still leaves me to have to do something, I don't know, like right here somewhere. Here is a bouquet right here that is really cute. You see that? Check it out. It's adorable. It has the colors that I need for this spread. And I am going to apply it right here. Hmm. Let me see. Yep, I'm going to apply it right here, but before I do, I'm just going to take my scissors and just snip off a little bit of this circle so that I can just apply it right against this line. And I think I will be done after that. Let's see. Yes, I'll go ahead and make it official. Apply it down nice and tight. And guys, this is my spread for January 17th through the 23rd. If you found anything useful, helpful, or downright creative, I ask that you please give this video a thumbs up. Also, I ask that you subscribe to my channel and be a part of the praise team. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for this week's spread. This is Sherelle from Planner with a Praise saying peace and blessings.